Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today's video I'm going to be talking about something that kind of split the airsoft community a lot apart and it kind of triggers me that people should be able to do whatever they want. I'm going to make a video today about replicas, replica versus real steel. Why would you make a video about replica versus real steel? I happen to be sponsored by a replica company and I'm sponsored by Vortex. That gives me kind of a unique point of view where I can share how I think and how I feel about how everything is done and how it is. Like what what, what is the benefits and what's the minuses, what's the pluses, like what, what do you get out of what of each thing? That's why I'm like, okay, I always get questioned, is it worth for me to buy a replica? Should I just buy a real steel? Is it worth for me to buy a real steel, et cetera, et cetera. And now I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna make a video telling people, is it worth it or not? Because it's about time I do it and we, we gotta inform we gotta inform people here so what is good and what is not vortex versus replicas okay to make everything easier now i'm going to be talking about replicas and real steel replica real steel so some of you might be i play airsoft i just play with toys i don't really care what i have on my replica why would i even use a red dot to you i have to say sure do whatever you want to do whatever works for you. I don't really care what works for you. If it works for you, it works for you, and it shouldn't annoy me no matter what. And we have that out of the way, and you can write in the comments, be like, hey, it's so dumb, we don't need it, we're only shooting, blah, 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 like uh, 50 meters, 100 meters, whatever you're doing, wherever you play, 10 meters, 5 meters. We don't need it, blah, 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 we can just use iron sights, sure. You can just use iron sights, but why make it more difficult for you than it actually needs to be? Because red dots, replica or real steel, it works. It helps, it makes it easy. It doesn't make it any harder or any more difficult. Let's start with the replica. This is a EU Tech replica. It's probably one of the best replicas you can get. It's pretty decent, the glass is nice, but as all replicas, all glass in all replicas are always very dark. I don't think you can see it through it, but it's very dark. Every single replica I've ever seen, the glass, there's a tint. There's a very dark tint in no matter which replica you have. And I've never seen it perfect. So what, what, what do you get out of a replica? Well, you get something that looks like a real real thing. This, is, this looks like the real thing. It feels remarkably good. This is plastic though. Everything else is metal. Some plastic parts. I, don't, I cannot say I've never had the real steel, like the real version of a Neotech. But overall, for the price, you get a functioning red dot. This is a red dot. The real version is a holo. This is not a holo because there's not holo technology in this. Um, this has holo, two holographic sides. Well, this is a real holo. Um, you get a working red dot. This is a red dot, even though it's supposed to be a holo. Bright enough dot for you to be able to see it in full daylight. It can also go dim enough for you to be able to see it in nighttime and it's actually usable i have heard these are good with night visions i cannot say i do not know but i've heard they're good with night visions and this only cost 70 bucks you're like oh 70 bucks is kind of expensive for a replica well i did say this is a high-end replica and is actually quite good it even has a night vision mode on it it says it says night vision but take everything with a grain of salt since it is a replica so to the price of 60, 70, 80 bucks or whatever, the, whatever it is, you get a EUTEC that looks like an EUTEC. You don't really have to be afraid of it breaking because if it breaks, who really cares? Or if you're one of those people who use a thing in front, a little shield, you can use that, sure. Um, for the price, you get something that helps you aim. It looks very nice on your replica and it does the job. But the downside of you not really buying the real deal is that you get a glass which has a pretty bad tint compared to a real steel and you're like what do you mean a bad tint well the tint in this is very dark when you compare it to real steel it's very dark but if you compare it to other replicas it's pretty decent so a replica you get something that works it helps you aim faster it helps you aim better it, you can zero it in like you can with a real one obviously um and it holds because it's for an airsoft weapon I've heard people and see, seen reviews of this on Real Steel 2 and it works, but I'm not sure how well it holds zero. Um, but I wouldn't assume it's perfect. But if you're just planning to using it for airsoft, sure, a replica is good. 
But there's the minus, huge minus of the glass not being amazing, that clear. Now you'd be like, well, okay, sure it does the job, the only minus is, okay, the glass is not very nice. As you have seen on my channel, I only use the best of the best, what I think is the best. I use MTWs, old umbrella armory, r hopped with a max M4W hop-up unit. We're fully maxed out with triggers, uh, gorilla trigger board and everything. I go the extra mile with all my guns, all my replicas, and I use it for content creation. If I wasn't using it for content creation, I would probably still do it though, because I like having the best. I feel like going down on equipment is a very, it's not something I want to do. Sure, I can do a lot of the same clips I do with a rental gun, but it wouldn't be as good though. It would not be as impressive. Like, I wouldn't do those, like, 70 meter one shots, like, poof, just right in the face, you know? So, now we're taking a real steel. It's kind of a crazy comparison. This is, uh, I think, 900 euros. This is 70, 60, 70, 80 euros or whatever. But this is a real steel. This is a real hollow. This has an amazing glass. Yeah, it's very dirty. I use it all the time on my SPR. I really like playing with it. This has a real, insanely good glass in it. Um, it's very, very bright. It's everyone knows that Vortex are known for having really, really good glass. It has a bluey, blueish tint because of the technology in it. I'm not gonna be smart about that. I'm not gonna talk about numbers about that because I don't really, I don't, I'm not that much into it. But this is absolutely amazing. It has a real hollow. I don't know if you guys can see, but I will put some overlays and stuff over this video. It has a real hollow. And it cannot be seen from the front. It cannot be seen from the front hollow. When you turn this on, yeah, there's no battery in this now. You can see the, the light from the front. So if you aim, people can see it in the darkness, for example. But what do you get so, that's so much better in a real steel product like Vortex? First on, you get really clear glass. You get a battery life that's absolutely insane. Well, in this model, battery li life is not amazing because it's a huge hollow and this is literally a brick but for example in if you for example take this one this is the vortex spark solar i think that's what it's called vortex spark solar this has a solar cells on top it has solar cells on top it says it has around 150,000 to 100,000 hours burn time and this um not so you get a better glass than this you have way more hours of battery time and now with Vortex, you get the VIP warranty. You're like, what is the VIP warranty? Well, you pay for a real steel product. You also expect to get some real steel things for a premium things. For this, you have VIP warranty, which means, is it like 25, 35, like, I'm not gonna be specific here, years where you will get a new one if it breaks. And I have broken many of these multiple times and I ship you a new one, no questions asked. It's literally sublime, probably the most amazing customer service you could ever want. These also have good customer service, but if it breaks doing airsoft, they're not gonna give you a new one. But Vortex will give you a new one instantly. They're like, yeah, sure, no problem. We'll send you a new one. And if you had an old version, they'll send you a new version. Like no questions asked. So this helps you aim. This helps you aim. This is not so good customer service. This is amazing because you pay for it. Not so clear glass. Clear glass. Could you do the same with both? Yes, you could. This works just as well as this. But do you want the best and have the most clear glass and the best visual you possibly can? This is the winner. Do you not really care about having the very, very best? This will do the same. When you go real steel versus replicas and there's these huge debates, there's these, these massive nerd debates and all these Facebook posts of people screaming and blaming and flaming each other like use whatever you want. If you want a replica and this is good enough for you, it's good enough for you. If you want a real steel because you want the best, then use a real steel. Don't, don't flame people for what they want to use. I personally only use real steel on my guns. I have one of my friends, Airsoft Replica here right now. I will show you. One of my friends, Airsoft Replica, I'm working on for him. He has a Vision, Vision King. Um, this is a replica. It's actually quite good. It's, it's a pretty cheap replica, but it's actually quite good. Vision King. Real steel versus replica debate of what is best and what, what gives you the best performance. You can do the best with both. You can do the same with both things because it's Airsoft. But this will give you an advantage because the glass will be more clear 
and especially in dark places. In dark places, this will be better for you, because this glass is too dark, and you probably won't be able to see very well. Then you obviously have a flashlight on you on your S of replica, but can I do the same? Kinda, but this does it better because it just has a better glass and it also has a longer battery time. So, so what's best? Well, whatever suit you need, whatever suit you need. If you want a replica, get one. If you want a Rizzo, get one. No matter what you get, get what makes you happy. Obviously, when I'm sponsored by both companies, I sit here and I, I want to be like, ah, I want to help it sell some Vortex, I want to help sell some of this. Like, it could be any real steel product. Like, now I only have experience with Vortex. Um, and I know Vortex is absolutely amazing, but people love to hate on them, but they're freaking good. Um, just take my word when I say this, I have no skin involved in this. Like a lot of YouTubers has when they do a sponsor video. This is not a sponsor video, by the way. I just decided I want to do it because I see so many people asking about it all the time. Like, what is best? What is best? Like, I lose nothing by doing this. Truly, both can do the same things. This will do things better. But they can do the same things. You will not be a better as a player with this over this or this over this. They can do the same things. This just have some advantage. If it's worth this more for you, sure use it. Especially if you're using real steel, it's obviously worth it. But like... Is it worth the extra amount of money for you? If you sit if you sit and think about it, is it really worth it? It's probably not. So yeah. Get whatever you want. And it does really help you become better at airsoft, having a red dot on your gun or a scope. I don't care what people say. Having a iron side is not the same. It's really not. Like every single red dot on my airsoft replica has zeroed in precisely. When I go to a field, and let's say I know most engagement are around 50 to 60 meters, I put the engagement or the red dots, so when I aim at the head, with the dot, it hits the head. So I know within 60 meters I can just aim at the head, and I will hit them. So if I aim at the head and they're 40 meters, I will hit them in the belly, for example, in the upper chest. If they're uh, longer than 60 meters away, I know that I will just aim a little bit over them, and I will hit them. So. Get a red dot or a scope. Most people, it truly does help having a red dot. So yeah. Anyways, I hope that I hope that it helps me talking a little bit about it. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and please leave video ideas in the comments. Like leave ideas in the comments that you would like for me to talk about, like for me to test, like for me to try in the future. Because I truly want to do all this YouTube stuff, and I really hate it. I really hate that I cannot come up with a million ideas, but. I'm sure there's a lot of you people out there thinking, oh my god, I don't know about this. And if you write something I don't know, I will search about it, I will find out, and I will get the information I need to be able to make a video about it. Because you're never too good enough to learn. I'm sure that you guys could write a billion things in the comments that I have no idea how to make a video about, but I will find a way. So yeah. Anyways, love you all, thank you for watching. I hope it's shred a little bit of light of it. I don't know if it's just a bunch of rambling, but at least I tried. Anyways, replica or not replica, you decide. I want to be positive and don't hate on what people use just because you don't have it.